Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to do our whiskey grab for February. Yeah, so, you know, February is a short month, but... It was a good month. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a good I month. I can't, like, I, I, I honestly, I think it was better than any month I had, arguably, the last year for me. Yeah. Like, it was pretty, it's pretty crazy. Well, you got some really crazy, a couple of really crazy things. And, uh, which I'm happy about because I think I'll probably get to drink on them at some point. I'll get to drink on all of them once I open them. That's true. Uh, and he'll take a general I had a, out of I had them. a generally good, uh. You had, a, you, you had a really good month. I did. I even had some things that I got that I didn't even bring in my whiskey grab. That's true. Well, uh, we normally, so we normally don't share everything we got. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, a lot if of not, times, the video would be super long. Yeah. And it's, it just shows how much of a problem we have buying. Yeah. Buying stuff. <laughs> true. But. You know, we just show the stuff that we're excited about mostly that yeah. we are happy about getting or grabbing. And, you know, some of the stuff we'll review or we've already reviewed maybe at yeah. one point in time. So. Yeah. Well, first on the list is uh, a Rebel. Uh, it's a store pick. It's a Sam's Club store pick, uh, which is totally fine. I don't know that I really enjoy Rebel just in its normal sense. Yeah. But the store picks have a tendency to be pretty good. This is 113 proof, which is, I love that proof just for an everyday Great drinker. I, I like I like that proof and uh, just super good. Uh, really happy that I got this. I actually just picked this up yesterday, so I was really happy. Yeah. So my first one uh, that I'm kind of excited about, I haven't even technically opened it yet, but I have sampled it from other uh, from some other people, is a Penelope Bourbon Four Grain Toasted. Uh, this is going to be, I think it's like 114 proof. Yeah, 114 yeah, proof on the Great dot. proof. So if you're, again, this is one of these bottles, if you've been around watching Whiskey Tube whatsoever for a while, people have been talking about these, they've even posted about them. <clears throat> I have had a couple of them, haven't had all of them. Uh, so I was, you know, this year I'm trying to get more off-brand or not just like the main brands of bourbon and whiskey. Um, you know, hopefully we'll do a little project with that down the road. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping so. And I like some of those. Um, but yeah, so I've heard nothing but great things from it. I'm super excited about trying it. Uh, what's funny is whenever I was looking for one, I couldn't find one for a while. And then a manager from store is like, oh, it's an allocated product. I'm like, no, it's not. And we, and I, apparently I found out if you can't restock it every single day, it's considered an everyday pro or it's considered an allocated product. So your Woodford double oak, cause they can't guarantee a restock right now because of glass. It's considered an allocated product. Well, what Learned do you know? Every day. Well. There you go. Uh, number three, and we're going to both kind of chime in on this one because it has been a good uh, Elijah, Car uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof month. Uh, yeah. So I picked up two. He picked up two. I've got like six. Yeah. He, yes. <laughs> he, he's got like six. But that's... Um, I have a match, um, which is a... We both have a match, yeah, actually. Uh, that's actually probably my favorite one. Yeah. It's either that one or I have a Kroger one that's like 109 proof. That man just... It's so good. Yeah. So, uh, these apparently are coming out in droves right now, especially in our area. They are... They're flooding the market. Yeah. yeah. Flood. So, if you... Just be on the lookout for your Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Yeah. That was kind of like, you know, because we've both gotten... Quite a bit. I mean, I know a guy who I think's gotten one from every single store. Yeah, uh, and they're so good. they're just they they are good. Yes, and in the days of where you can't find basically anything, whenever this stuff floods market, you just buy it up. Yeah, like you buy if you're gonna drink it, you buy it up for you to be able to sip on down the road. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't imagine that they'll be as available um, as what they have been the last month or so. Yeah, but. Man, could you imagine if this was like this like every other month or something? Yeah. I mean, these would That'd be nice. These would sit on shelves because there would be so many of them. Yeah. But it'd be really, really great value. It would be just really yeah, good. Just be awesome. Yep. Yeah. So, our point is if you don't live in the area, I mean, we live in the Kentucky area, wherever you're at, Florida, Tennessee, Michigan, I don't care wherever you're at. Just be on the lookout for them. Just be on the lookout for them because yeah. I would imagine eventually they're going to hit you guys. Yeah. I so. would think so. All right. All right, so the next one, and again, we're going to share this one uh, because we were both there, actually, Yeah. whenever we went. So the newest 117 series, uh, the 1910 Extra Age. So we're actually, um, I think by then, by now we've already done the video yeah. on it. Yeah. So we won't go into a ton of detail about it. Uh, this totally popped up randomly, what was it, on like a Tuesday or something? It Wednesday? was Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, one I of those days. Which one. 
And it was great because the first day they released an email by nine. And we, there was already some rumblings, some rumors that you know this was going to be released this week, and so I texted him. We were both able, we were both able to yeah. grab uh, two bottles. You buy two bottles per, uh, and it was at the end of February too. And so I'm glad, an yeah, and I'm glad that we didn't use my, I didn't use my allocated purchase oh, yeah. ahead no, of time because no there was a couple other releases that Old Forester did mm-hmm. at the distillery that would have used up our opportunity to get this at this point in time. And so sure. I always like to get these when they first come out. So, I agree. Yeah, good. Hopefully, it's good stuff. Well, you you got to watch the review. Yeah, yeah. You or you'll have already watched the review. So, yeah, whichever true. way. Uh, number five, and this is one we actually did do a review on not too uh, long ago. But <laughs> the Green River, we told you how cool the bottle was. Got a awesome horseshoe on the bottom of it. Uh, just uh, an old distillery that just kind of reopened uh, and kind of did their thing. It's a Kentucky. Uh, straight bourbon whiskey. It's uh, just a really good thirty-five dollar bourbon. Good stuff. I know I kind of got crushed in comments because I talked about how amazing it was for thirty-five bucks. I don't blame you. I'm still sticking with that for yeah. thirty-five bucks. For thirty-five holy bucks, crap. yeah, it's really it's good. So good. Yeah, so good. So, all right. So for mine, I guess this would be like number six or whatever. Over uh, yep, number six. You know, one of my personal favorite brands out there. It's a good Bert brand. Carter. American whiskey batch two. Yeah. Some of you all are probably sitting there saying batch two. What do you mean batch two, Zach? How how did you find a batch two? Because that thing hasn't been around forever. I don't know. I didn't find it. My buddy Brian, he actually found it out in the wild, and he was like, "Hey, I'm at this store. It's a little bit more pricey than retail, of course." And hey, you want it? I'm like, yes. He's like, it's old butter. It, yes, put please. Put it sold on it. So it took me about like a week or two to finally meet up with him. Finally, you know, grab a bottle and stuff from him, but. Yeah, my point is is a love me smoke Carter and two, thank you Brian because yeah. this was super cool being able to get the opportunity to uh, you know crack it open and sip That's it. So true. And for it being one hundred thirty nine point two oh, yeah. proof, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Uh, my uh, number seven here is an old Forester barrel strength, uh, single barrel barrel strength. Uh, it's a Kentucky exclusive, so you know this is where it is. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. uh, but these barrel strengths are always—I've not had one that's really missed. I—I I mean, I love them. Yeah, I've—I've mean, I've not. I've—I've I've had a bunch of them, and I've, I don't know that I've had one that's like not been decent. Yeah, and what I noticed outside of like two liquor stores in our area, outside of Liquor Barn and Total Wine, man, these things are kind of becoming. Uh, I'm sorry. And Cox's, these things are becoming hard to find. Yeah. Like the mom and pop ones that you used to find all the time, or even at the distillery. The distillery hasn't released one in forever. So yeah. it's like getting really, really hard to find. Yeah, they're so, good. So if you can find one of these, it'd be good to pick up. Now, talking about Old Forester. Yeah, talking about Old Forester. <sighs> now, I think some of you all will be looking at this being like, Hold on, he- let's turn it, give it its full due. There you go. Like, why are you showing an 86 proof here? No. Look in the picture below that hopefully we're posting pictures. Yeah, maybe. Bottles. You never can tell. Uh, this is a 125 proof liter bottle. This is actually an employee bottle. Now, long story short, they met some production goal in 2018. And, you know, for, to my knowledge, and it was like a gift to all the employees there. They basically took the 86 proof and put it at 125 proof, put it in liter bottles. And said, there you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're awesome. Congrats. Thanks for being cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being cool. This, this bottle, now I had to find it on a deep, dark place on the old. He went into the dark web. Yeah, pretty much. And was able to get one of these. Um, I cannot tell you how excited I am. I've never owned one of these bottles. Uh, and as big of an, as big of an old Forester fan as what I am. Ne- never been able to get my hands on one. I've tried it before. It's, in my opinion, the best Old Forester product I've ever had. Better than any President's Choice, better than any birthday bourbon, better than any barrel strength. It is... That's high praise, because we love our Old Forester. Yeah, and I've been collecting these for a long time, Yeah, and I've been drinking on Old Forester for a long time. It's the best. And I want to crack it open. I don't know when I'm going to crack it open, because I'm kind of nervous, because I know I'm going to want to, like, you know, basically not chug it, but dig near drink it all the time. Yep. But these are, if you are a Brown Forman fan, if you are an Old Forester fan, if you know about this, you know how excited you would be and how excited I am for it. And it's yeah, once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. It, it is. 
Uh, my number, uh, the number nine here is just a Weller uh, Antique OWA. Uh, you know, it speaks for itself. It, you know what it is. Uh, if you're around bourbon at all, this is uh, one that people like to get hand. And they're hard to find most of the time. Unless you, you live in Ohio or Texas. Yeah. And you can find it all the time. Uh, or <laughs> Illinois, too, apparently. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that guy. I, yeah. <laughs> Illinois as well. But in this area, they're hard to find. And so when you find them, you try to grab a hold of them if it's not too crazy of a price. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, and this one happened not to be too crazy of a price. One of my local mom and pop places that I like to visit uh, did a drop, and I, I got this one. So, that's why I pay to shop local. Yep. All right. So, talking about Buffalo Trace allocation. Mm. So disappointed I didn't get this. <laughs> uh, this is Stag. No, not Stag Junior. Probably what you're thinking. You'll see. Hopefully, again, we'll talk about this. Hopefully, it's in the picture. But where there should be a junior, no longer no, a junior. No longer a junior. It's just a stag. She's 18. She's ready to party. Yeah. I, I think a stag would be a guy, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, whatever. Leave them in the comments below. Go ahead and store it out between you guys down there. Give us a like while you're at it. Um, but, yeah, so this was – there's a huge rumor going around last week about these stag junior picks because this is a pick from Liquor Barn that was going out. And everybody's freaking out about it, right? Like every – you know how it is. FOMO sets in. People are wondering yeah, all around. Yep. Can't or whatever. And then this day, Liquor Barn dropped the Woodford Double Double Oaks. And so everybody's like, oh, okay. So now nobody has to worry about it because like they've already dropped their allocation for the day. And then in one random group, somebody dropped, there was a blend store pick hitting all the Liquor Barns. So then like a bunch of people, me included, was like, I'm not going to go out and chase blend and store picks. I'm fine. I'll stay home. I'm working on stuff around here. And then somebody's like, panic, stack junior picks are going out. And I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. So I drive to get to a store to, to hopefully get one. I walk in. I'm lucky enough to get one. As I'm going to the next store to try to grab two, I lock my keys in my car. <laughs> so I got the one. <laughs> lucky enough. He got lucky the enough, one. I got the one. But either way, this is my first, my first stag pick. Um, it's... I'm not open it yet. I am waiting again for a good opportunity, kind of a cool opportunity to open it. Yep. Um, but y'all know, I, I've, I've talked a lot about we bottles. Love, yeah, we love Stag. That I'm a fan of. And this is why I said like this past month, these are bottles that I got that I'm just like, I mean, I'm fanboying them. Yeah. Like it's just yeah, real. for sure. So. Uh, my uh, 11th one here is the Woodford Double Double Oak. Uh, just... If you know anything about this, the, their distillery series they do, they they release three or four different ones a year. No, Some, more, I think more than that. Is now. it more than, yeah, more than that now? I think so. uh, uh, but the Double Double Oak is like, the, to me, is the crown jewel of all oh, the yeah. distillery series. It's yeah. always good, always, you know, hits. Uh, especially if you like... If you like the the oakiness of a of, of bourbon and stuff like that, and well, so, I think there's more spice yeah, on, yeah. on these yeah. than your traditional just double oak. In yes. my opinion. Yeah. So, um, I also I just want to say too, I like that they do three seventy fives of it. I know that seems I know some people don't like that. I like it just because I think it spreads out a little bit more. Yeah, it does. You know, I know people get mad about the one seventeen series not being that, but they give you the equivalent. Yeah, they give you a seven fifty. So if you buy it, they give you a seven fifty. Yeah. So. But yeah, I like it. Yeah, so. for sure. Great stuff. All right. Last one for me. This is a Bowman Cash Strength proofed at 141.1. Crazy story about this one. So, friends from Breakfast Club, occasionally I'll post a, our little picture in like a bottle like for Breakfast Club stuff. That's a group I go and I drink with on Saturday mornings and we just kind of catch up, hang out. We're a, a great group of guys. Well, one of the guys in the group, his name's Josh, he was saying he was wanting us to all go down to this little local bar that he likes to go to. And one of them was talking about this bottle being down there. I'm like, how's this bottle down there? This bottle here is only released at the distillery in Virginia. Yeah. So I'm like, I've never, like, I, I've always wanted to try it. I've never even, I've just never got my hands on it to be able to try. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go down there. Well, come to find out, they'll sell you the bottle. So I'll sell you the bottle for, you know, and I was just like, uh, yes, please. Yeah. So me and another guy uh, in our breakfast club, he bought the other bottle. I got this bottle. And holy 
crap. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've already told him because he hasn't tried it yet either. We're going we gonna to review this we one. We're going to review it and then we're going to make a bourbon battle out of it because yeah. I just want to keep on drinking it. Yeah. So sure. super excited about this one. This is one that does not hit our area very often, mm. uh, if at all. Yeah. And I still don't fully understand how the bar even had two of them. Maybe they so. maybe they went to Virginia. He would have had to. Like yeah. it would have had been from yeah. a private collection. So I, I don't I don't get it. But yeah. anyway. anyway, it's good stuff. Yeah. So that was our February. So but anyways, I guess, you know, till next time. Yeah. We'll see you later.